What is going on Babylonians? It's me Songs of Rays back with another synced video to be able to bring to you and today we're going to be doing a long awaited dive into the top 5 things of note from the Tokyo Game Show 2022 teaser footage. Now this trailer has been out for a little while but this was the earliest I've managed to get onto it due to other commitments so if you've seen or already seen the trailer then my apologies but hopefully there's still some items that you've not seen before now that we can dive deeper into. But before we go any further, make sure you have dropped a like and a subscribe on the video, it really helps the channel out. And did you know, only 19% of you watching are currently subscribed to the channel, it's completely free to do so, it helps us be able to make out more content like this, and keeps you up to date with all future content to come from the channel. On top of this, we're also partnered with Player Ammo, your one-stop shop for the ultimate energy and focus formula, designed to level up your performance. Make sure to use code BABBLE at the checkout to save yourself 10% off of your order, and with that all out of the way, let's get right in to it. Alright, so first and foremost, this trailer is aimed more towards the PvE mode for the game, rather than the PvP that we've seen more recently and in the past. Now, it's been a solid year since anyone has been able to playtest the PvE mode for Sinks, and while my memory might be a little bit fuzzy over what we've experienced due to the combination of no recorded footage for that test, and the sheer amount of time that's passed since the mode was playable, there are definitely some interesting smaller details that instantly stick out to me. Right up on the display we get some health bars for the enemies, now what's unique about this is that they seem to have some sort of armour or shield bar that's going to be above their main health, indicating they're going to require more bullets than you'd usually require to be able to take down. Now I don't recall this being a feature before in the previous test, just usually less damage being taken as you proceed should you not keep on top of levelling your weapons and gear, so this should make it a little bit easier to be able to tell what enemies have and uh, less frustrating as to why you're barely scratching the surface of their health. Will this bar regenerate like our player's armour? Only time and the new PvE playtest experience will tell. Next we also get a small detail which I missed when I first watched the first few times and that's because it's hidden in the bottom left of the screen saying voice server failed. Now it's going to be obvious to a lot of you that this will be due to internal playtests for the footage and no voice servers being needed, of course it's not going to work and it's going to fail. But this confirms in-game chat, allowing you to be able to communicate with randoms that you should matchmake with, and will almost almost certainly 100% be in for PvP as well. What's yet to be confirmed with the game of Synced is if it will be available for consoles, or if it's just going to be for PC. But if it is going to be heading its way to the console market, we may see features like crossplay being available, and voice chat being a thing across all platforms. This is pretty exciting stuff and hopefully we will hear more about that soon and bring it straight to the channel. We next get a brief look at the first of several big bads, the bosses that you'll fight at the end of the PvE run. Now this one has an arm cannon on their right arm, similar to some elite nanos we've seen out and about in the PvP test. These were simple to be able to take down in that game as the PvE wasn't the main focus of that mode, but with PvE requiring teamwork to be able to succeed and progress far or progress further into the mode for these sweet rewards, you can be sure they will be much harder to take down, especially when they're going to be an M boss. Now, not much is currently shown on this enemy in this in this trailer, but it does confirm with a clip later on that more than one boss is going to be available for PvE, so will there be dedicated bosses per level, as the background for this boss is also different compared to the other elite we will be seeing later on, or will it be a random chance chosen when you enter? Once we know more on that, we'll also definitely be reporting when it got on that as well. Next up was something that was new even to myself and I've been around in the Sync Discord for about 12 to 13 months and featured in around about 2 or 3 playtests in that exact same time period and that was what looks to be character customization. Now it's a small detail but we get to see a character wearing what looks to be a pair of antlers as a new headpiece, one that's not native to Brother Abel when we've had access to the playtests. Now this looks to confirm we are in for some radically different skins for the character, which is awesome to see, but then kind of leads us back to the same issue that we've seen in games similar to like Call of Duty Warzone, and what they faced with their Rose skin, where this can be in a competitive game, and will we see another skin that's kind of better than all the rest, offering an unfair advantage or giving us a reason to be able to leave behind other cosmetics and never use them ever again. Either way, I'm curious to see what other designs will come from this, especially since we know about three other characters in the game, and there's always that potential that we could be seeing more in the near future. Um, I also have the faith that the next studios team will be keeping an eye on that, just to make sure that doesn't happen, especially with how kind of uh, public knowledge the, the rose skin was, and how problematic it was at that moment in time. 
And for our last point, we have the main focus of the trailer, and we get to look at a tyrant boss battle for PvE, and what to expect when you make it all the way to the end of your run. Now, tyrants are hulking great big behemoth versions of the elites you'll encounter in the wild, both in PvE as well as PvP. Now, in the past, we've seen these enemies have new attacks uh, with, with their open world counterparts, ones that become real punishing as the fight goes on, with large AoE attacks and ways to be able to summon minions to take up your attention and to be able to apply pressure to the players. Now once you get here, make sure you're ready and fully geared up as you're going to be in for a slog of a fight. Now we get to see in the trailer how large this health bar is, doing around about 47 damage a time per non-crit with a legendary AR, and the bar is just being tickled away at most. Fortunately we do get a great shot of the minimap showing off 6 ammo boxes in the room, allowing refills as you move around and whittle the bar down over time. It's also a great indicator for how long you're expected to be in there, considering we have a reserve ammo count of over 750 rounds and 6 total ammo boxes you're sure going to be firing for a long time time. We also get to see some new effects and perks that were in use by the way of a shield effect around the character and what looks to be similar to a black hole around the tyrant. Now it could just be as likely that these are mods which already existed in the game but have now had a visual enhancement or an upgrade and it's great to see more polishes being added as time goes on. With how this is currently looking I can't wait to see the final product and just to really finish the clip off we get to see an example cinematic of how it looks when you complete a run and finish the health bar off for the boss in this example showing the tyrant being crushed under part of the level. And there we go, that is it on the video. Let me know in the comment section down below what was your favourite moment from the Tokyo Game Show trailer and what are you looking forward to for release or on the next playtest. Drop your answers down below. Massive thank you for making it this far into the video and to the Babylonian family for their continued support as always. If you haven't already, come join us over on the Discord where we talk daily with the community and we'd love to hear your views on game titles and the link can be found in the video description. And with all that out of the way, it just leaves me to say keep yourself safe, keep yourselves well and I'll see you all on that next video.